Wix Studio, one end-to-end -end web creation platform for your agency to deliver exceptional work with absolute efficiency. The number one long form writer that helps SEOs outrank competition at the click of a button using real time research and NLP. Start ranking content today with contentatscale.ai. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the copywriting side of the force. Um, today, we are going to talk about a very important fact. So, this is the H is in my name is silent. Thank you. <laughs> So, um, I want to share you a, very, uh, a point of view that why do we need to automate content marketing? Why do we need to automate content strategy and content creation? But why do we need it? Why do we want it? What do we fantasize it? Actually, this is a um, quote by Dave Braceford, who is a very popular man in the cycling Cycling stuff, cycling sport, you see. And um, what, is, what uh, he says is that um, when you optimize a bit of this, a bit of that, like maybe uh, how much your saddle weight or maybe uh, is, your, um, do, is your fitting, the bike fitting, is, is it right for you? Uh, all of this different stuff um, is helping you or helping you to be a better cyclist. And, this is a good example for me because those teams, those cycling teams today who optimize a bit of this, a bit of that, like maybe the structure of the website, maybe a bit of content, maybe our internal linking, etc., are the ones who win the races. SEO copywriting for me is a global issue. It's not only about being the Oscar award of SEO. We don't care. Uh, it is, uh, you need to be technical because you need to know how the web is working and you need to be a very good writer as well. Um, that's, that, that, that's obvious. But yes, because yes, a good content could improve your SEO performance, of course. It helps you to get, to ha to get a new click-through rate. It helps you to, seg to, be, to write more attractive, more seductive content. But if you have uh, technical issues, it could be completely useless. You can have very incredible contents uh, which are absolutely uncrawlable. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, but if your content are not indexed at all, you could, you could waste your time by doing content strategy and just let maybe a non-index, no-follow no on, on the page. That's a shame. So before talking about automating, let's see what is your dream. What is our dream as copywriter? What skill do we need? So I bring you today a bit of French touch because tonight we'll have a bit of French fare, I hope. Um, so we'll take it harder. So harder, what, what do we want? We want to do bulk analysis, uh, very wide correction, uh, do a lot of research. We, we need to do a lot of research to be accurate, to write and pro, pro create accurate content. And a robot, an AI, is very convenient for that because it has no limit of time. You couldn't get bored or tired if you pay your bills. If you pay, for example, $20 per month for ChatGPT. But if you pay your bills, if you pay your electricity bills, the robot can do some very good stuff for you. And better, you need a, point, a strategic point of view. You need your life experience. You need your knowledge, your knowledge of your own market. You can have a, a sense of humor as well, and you can have a sense, a, and also very useful today, the sensitivity writing. I don't even know if, so, if sensibility is a word in English. I'm sorry, is it? Oh, thank you, I'm really scared. So, uh, sensitivity writing, for example, not to write, not to publish something uh, which could be very offensive, um, and we need that. How do a robot know if this is offensive or not when us human, it's when it's very difficult for us? And so, um, for example, I, have, I had a client who 
in the cycling industry again, and um, they would like uh, they they wanted to go in the UK market. They didn't now, but in French uh, there is a slang for a bicycle, which is la petite reine. You see, la petite reine, etc. And in, in English, if you translate it in English, it's the small queen. And I told you, you can't put on your main landing page in the UK the small queen. It's not. It's a wrong idea. And I, te I told them this fact because I have my life experience. And having this life experience is very important because even if you are writing content for remote control for automatic, automatic gates, for example, actually you need something real in your content because if it's not real, if, they are, if, it's, if you don't have maybe a pinch of real, people will they don't care, actually, they don't care. You have to be to make them care about what you are publishing. And of course, doing something faster. This is maybe the, the promise that uh, AI is doing, is giving us that, okay, I want to do it, everything faster, but what do we want to do faster? Just think of it, maybe conversion to another format, maybe creation of a, a large uh, amount of draft version for some, PLP, project landing pages, and anything that you, cons you are considering to click too many times could be automated. And of course, stronger, but stronger, what is to be strong for a robot, for us? It's maybe having a very wide um, vocabulary, knowing a lot of, a lot of different words, um, never get tired, never bored, and theoretically, theory, in theory, <laughs> having no social or cognitive bias. In theory, the robot, robot is just a robot. So, but, may, but it doesn't have, the AI doesn't have any bias, except the ones you are teaching to them. So maybe the worst one. Remember, we are the humanity. So to conclude this part, um, SEO copywriting is a hard skill for me. That is made of a strong digital culture. You need to know how a website works. You need to know how a computer works. You need to know how to put how this, uh, why is there a hard drive, why, what is, uh, you were talking a lot about, for example, um, how fast a website is charging, is loading. But how does it work, actually? How can you uh, provide some um, recommendation if you don't know how it's wo it works? The SEO technical skills, even if you are an editor, even if you are a copywriter, you need to know how to do a proper SEO, how to do a proper structure for your website. And this, is, this could be a bit, a bit strange for you, but laziness. To be lazy today, in 2023, at the rise of the AI, laziness is the new smart. Because when you are a bit lazy, you can identify what you could automate, what task you could automate. But a robot is a very, is very, very motivated, but it's quite dumb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. Do, do you remember this movie of Disney, uh, Fantasia? Fantasia, Fantasia 2000, two, 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 two. You see, and in this movie, there is a sorcerer's apprentice, um, Mikey Mouse, who, uh, who is um, casting a, a spell on different brooms. And what did happen? The, did it turn well? No. The flooding, water, everywhere, everywhere in the castle. Don't be Mikey Mouse in this movie. Maybe he did a lot of fine stuff, but in this movie, it was a very shitty idea. So don't be Mikey Mouse at work when you want to automate stuff. But this is interesting because what, what do we assume that we want to automate? Usually, it is about thinking. It is this dream that we are not, we stop, need to go to work, we can go to, we can retire actually. Because AI is so smart, it can do so much stuff, but thinking actually is the most important and the most interesting part of the job. 
it sparks joy, you see. And you, we need this spark. Don't let the robot replace you for what is the funniest for you, okay? So what do we need to automate? We need to automate actually boring stuff. I really like this book uh, that I've never read actually, but I like the, the cover. Uh, <laughs> I work in marketing, I'm sorry. I like the cover, very efficient marketing. And uh, the cover is a robot who is using a loan, loan, uh, um, thank you, this word. <laughs> <laughs> And um, it's, a, it's about uh, automating boring stuff with Python. And I really like this, this point of view. So um, for example, creating new, new stuff, uh, choosing what seems to be relevant data for you uh, could be done by a robot or checking grammar, et cetera. Anything um, you could go, go do wrong if you're too tired, for example. If you, if you are very tired, this one task could be wrong because you are tired, maybe it could be automated. Automated, automated, okay. Um, repetitive task, if you click too many times, this could be automated, maybe about uh, uh, five click is enough to be okay. I don't like this stuff, I want to automate it. And this is very important for people here who are copywriters, who are writers, editorial people, I love you. Um, even if you don't know how to do Python, how to do code, how to automate, uh, customizing, how to customize some um, machine learning stuff, uh, it's not. It's fine because you do, you need, you know what you need to automate. You know what you, that you need to automate maybe this thing. So what you need to do is just writing something familiar, writing specification for a developer. That's it. So. But in the world of copywriting, how do you automate content that demands a lot of expertise, a great expertise? In theory, this is something very obsolete today, but uh, there is a theory about the fact that you would need 10,000 hours to become an expert in any field. Actually, this is just to say that you need to work a lot. Sorry, you need to work again. And for example, here you need to give a robot could help us to do it in less than 10,000 hours, maybe to, when, uh, uh, to help you to aggregate a lot of different resources to, you could read. Uh, and this is very important to get a bit of expertise because you, even if you are writing something very, um, something great, if, even if you are um, a very uh, great expert in your field, you need to be a very good writer as well. This is the copywriting side because you still can be boring. For example, I can know a lot of stuff about how to uh, make a hamster live um, uh, back to life, make it back to life with a microwave oven. Yes, this is a true fact from Brighton. And uh, it's about the man who invented microwave, he did that. And, uh, and be bo bo uh, absolutely boring when I talk, you see. So boring content are useless. Above all, do not lie to your audience because you can't fool anyone about that. So a bit of case studies. Uh, this is a tool that I really like. I use it almost every day. It's called uh, yourtext.guru. Uh, it's a French tool. Yeah. And, um, and in this tool, um, it, it does uh, like reverse engineering of, uh, uh, by analyzing what is on the first page of the search engine uh, result page. And uh, on the first page, and it, it, okay, now today at this point, uh, Google like those content. Uh, this is a summary what uh, you can find on it. And then you can just uh, use this, uh, this fact, but don't remember that what you need is not to do this, this graph, uh, this you want to do better because you want better content. Um, I know this is a bit tricky to talk about uh, uh, FAQ, F FAQ uh, how to, etc. today, but uh, don't, don't wait for different features or, 
on, um, on the results page to do your work. Don't, don't wait for those features to uh, uh, make good um, content that are well structured, that are very attractive, that are very easy to read and to, uh, and to crawl, actually. Here I use the very simple uh, things. For example, here I, I use the, um, the, the name of uh, different uh, departments uh, in France, which are different regions, different. And uh, just I, I, had, I had a list and I wanted a, a table. So I asked my slave ChatGPT to do it. Then uh, you have the right source. You get a very, very good source. Uh, Sorry, uh, for because you are studying a, a, um, a field, and the, oh, do I need to read all this book? Uh, uh, this, this whole book is it useful for me? So you can just uh, copy and paste a part of your book and ask for ChatGPT to summarize a bit this book to know if it's useful for you to read it. <sighs> that was a very long sentence. Oh. Um, you've got an awesome article, transform it into FAQ. For example, you have an article you, you already uh, have written. Um, and um, you can say, okay, this is a good article that I wrote. That I wrote. Uh, can you transform it into different questions and write the answers for me? It still is your own content, but you're just um, do it a bit faster. Of course, you have to proofreading, proofread it. What do we do when we have, uh, for example, this magnificent uh, infographic? And but uh, this is in a in an image. Basically, you just could you just uh, could use OCR to transcript uh, the text on the image into an, an alternative text. Uh, this is very good uh, good thing for accessibility as well, and to have text uh, to provide to uh, your robots. Don't forget that you can scrape a bit uh, by scraping, for example, the different title of the resources you would like to read as a copywriter. And you can use search engines like a pro. For example, here, this is Google Books. I, I really like to do that for maybe keyword research. I search for some different kind of um, books that are very useful in, my, in the field I am studying. And I use uh, actually just the uh, different uh, expression and keywords that are very, uh, very frequent in these books. And this helps me a lot for keyword research. This is your text.guru again uh, that helps you to find the name of the expert in a field. So then you can do uh, a, a content with expert expertise. You can also use the API of the tool that you bought uh, to prioritize, because even if you are automating something, it is, if, it's, if this is not a priority, uh, this could be useful. You are wasting your time. So don't forget to focus on your priorities. And here I use a podca uh, podcast software, for example, to do interviews. You can do interviews and transcript them very fast fast today uh, thanks to uh, transcription features um, into the provided by the podcast software. Use the native feature of your devices. There are a lot of things that you could do and you don't even think about it. Again, automating with uh, Python by using Markdown. Markdown is the most useful thing. Don't, don't uh, try to use ChatGPT if you don't do Markdown. There are a lot of things you can do before ChatGPT to automate it, to do things faster. But even if you do things, it, everything can be very frustrating. Identify what, is, what makes you frustrating, frustrated in your life. And these facts are the ones you want to automate. And of course, don't forget your real goal. Your real goal is what? Your real goal is to creating content, but better content, better than the one your competitors are creating right now. And uh, so you can work it better, do it faster, make us stronger, hour, hour, hour after hour, 
<laughs> Her work is never over. I'm sorry. <laughs> so thank you. Monthly reporting making you want to shove sharp things up your nose? Try Dragon Metrics, the all-in-one SEO software with mind-blowing reporting tools. 